Hello and welcome to another update video about Polygon Matic. Here we have the situation that we have on, I believe, on the Ethereum chart as well, that um, of the recent high, which was made here on the 4th of March, we've come down in a corrective way, in my opinion. Yeah, um, It was quite a sharp sell-off, but um, still only three waves down. And the fact that we've moved up in five waves at the moment makes at least the move down as a correction quite likely. We have also reacted to our target, which was here between $1.09 and $1. So we've reacted to it. We've reacted to our target range here, the large one, which was the target for the correction um, that started on the 18th of February. So that worked out nicely. We reversed came back into the next support area that I updated, uh, updated you about already a couple of days ago. And now we are moving up. But the way we are moving up is only corrective as well. So what does that mean? That means I have to favor at least one more low, at the moment at least. Yeah? And I also tell you from which or at which level I'm going to change my view. So if we assume the move up was a wave one, and I assume the move down is wave two, then I have to be watching for clues that the correction is over. Now, as soon as you have three waves, you can assume a correction is over, or at least you can be watching for a reversal. That is possibly happening at the moment, but the move up is overlapping. Can you see these overlapping waves? Yeah. So it's the the pre the um the previous high overlaps with the following low. That's typically a characteristic for a correction. So it's, it looks corrective. So the problem that I have here is that, yes, surely it could have reversed, but I don't have evidence. Yeah, it's still below resistance, which is this red area. This is the resistance for the current wave to the upside. It's still below that. Only above that we can turn towards something more bullish. Um, I, I could potentially be more bullish here short term, very short term. I, I am. Otherwise, I wouldn't give you these support boxes. Um but I could be, but very short term, I would expect one more low at the moment. But had we seen something impulsive, that would diff that would be different. But we haven't. So it currently looks just corrective. That can change, surely. But I can only base my analysis of what I see on the chart at the moment while I make the video. And um, at the moment, because we are below resistance, I'm counting the whole move down as a WXY pattern. You know, a so-called double zigzag or combination, depending on what kind of subways waves we have. But it is a 3-3-3 three, three, three pattern. So we've got three waves here in the wave W. We've got a correction, a com combination, or yeah, the connector wave basically consists of overall uh, three waves as well with these overlaps, a corrective wave. And then the wave Y will have or should have three waves as well, ABC, like here, ABC. So this is a more complex correction, but it does happen, not as often as an ABC, but it does happen. And as long as the X wave stays below 121, I can assume that we've got this WXY pattern. Below that level, no, sorry, above that level, we can potentially explore some more bullish options. But one of those more bullish options would also be an overshooting B wave, because that's the other pattern which is available here. We could say that on the way down, we moved up, we moved down in an A wave. It's possible because it's a three wave structure. The move up is a B wave and we come down in C. That would be a flat pattern. Um, the WXY for me is here more likely, but the, you know, the ABC with an overshooting B wave is also not unlikely. It's just, if you ask why is the WXY more likely, has simply has to do with the situation that in a wave two, and I'm counting that as a wave two, a flat pattern is rather rare. So I'm normally looking for a zigzag, which is just an ABC, but then we should have seen an impulsive move to the upside. Because it's not an ABC, I'm currently looking at the option of a WXY, that's for me the, more, the next likely pattern in a, in a wave two. But a flat pattern, pattern is also not unlikely, but it's, it's for me less likely than a WXY because you, you rarely get those overshooting B waves in a wave two. It happens, yeah, 
but also a WXY happens. So uh, just be aware of the key levels. So it's up to 121, it can be an X wave. Above that, maybe I would even start to favor then a bullish outcome instead of an overshooting B wave. Um, but if we can start to see that the overshooting B wave is a likely option, then I will give you the resistance that's relevant for the overshooting B wave as well. But I think it's a bit too early, otherwise we confuse everybody. So at, at the moment, the expectation would be in the red area to turn around and make one more dip into the orange support area, but then ideally to hold $1, which is the 78.6 retracement. From here then ideally to turn around. If not, then this one, two setup is probably not gonna work out. I will then probably change my view, take that box out and look for, um, a reset maybe of this larger wave too, which at the moment we assume ended on the 10th of March. Yeah, But that would not be ideal because this pattern would then become a bit strange. So ideally it's turning around now to the upside. Okay, that's my update about Matic. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.